All right, it is a beautiful day today in Central Texas, but we got some pretty serious weather blowing in tomorrow, looking like 50 mile an hour winds tonight. So we're going to go fishing the day before it gets ugly. <laughs> I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right, since uh, I'm not taking my boat, uh, I thought I'd show you guys kind of my, what I bring if we're fishing out of somebody else's boat rig. So I've got everything in my Panga backpack uh, with the uh, pouch on the outside. <laughs> I'm terrible, I can't remember what it's called, but you know, it's the dry bag that attaches to the outside of the dry bag. Um, on the sides, I've got uh, my water bottle. And on the other side is my coffee mug. Can't leave home without it. Uh, I've got the smaller one, but the larger, I think is 18 ounce, fits in here as well. So let's dig into the bag, show you what I got. All right, first off in the front pouch, Kind of carry some of the stuff that I may need to grab quickly, like my little notebook, uh, case for my ND filter, and batteries. So both batteries for my camera, which is right there. I usually have that around my neck. I don't usually put it in the bag. So the GoPro and the big camera and a pen for my notebook. All right. All that stuff goes back in there. I'll probably throw the GoPro in there as well, but it's inside the main pack right now. Let's get into the pack. So I have got spare lens for the camera. Definitely want to keep that inside the pack, keep it dry. Uh, I've got the GoPro on a selfie pole. Um, this is kind of cool because I can get shots of us running the boat or I can get shots, close-up shots of releasing fish, you know, just extend the handle out and reach down. So that's pretty cool. Always like to have that. And it's waterproof. It's a GoPro. If I'm in my boat, I'll take my Go box full of flies. But since I'm going with somebody else, they're going to have their gear. We got a third fisherman. He's going to have his gear. So I'm just trying to keep it to a minimum. So I just brought three boxes, the ones I think are going to be most useful for today. So it's midwinter. So I've got my crawfish box. I've got my clouser box and I've got a box full of game changers of different sizes and colors. I've made a couple of videos on how I pack my go boxes with all my flies and all my gear. Uh, I'll link those up there somewhere, but this is just kind of the basic stuff that I feel like I'm gonna need today. The other thing is, is I'm only bringing one rod and I've got one line on that rod. So since it's midwinter, sink tip line on my six weight rod, and uh, hopefully that's all I'm gonna need. The only other thing I have in my bag is two spools of tippet. Like I said, I'm using a sink tip line, so I've got 20 pound and 40 pound tippet. Um, that's all I'm gonna need. This is to build up the butt section of my sink and tip leader, and this is my tippet for my sink and tip leader. Really don't need a lot. Keep it simple. The only other thing I've got in here is <laughs> my lunch. So I've got that in the Yeti lunchbox, uh, nothing fancy. I think I've got my kind of go-to <laughs> boat lunch, which is peanut butter and jelly sandwich, an apple, and a bag of chips. All right, so that is all the gear I brought to fish today. Like I said, it all fits in the Yeti Panga backpack, which is great. Grab all my stuff, hop on the boat, and I'm ready to fish. Let's see if I can catch a fish today.
so that was a fun day on the water. I didn't catch anything. Uh, John and Blaine both caught a couple of fish and John caught one pretty nice bass. But I had a great time. <laughs> As always, it's not about how many fish you catch. Uh, it's about the company that you keep and it's about being out on a beautiful day. And both of those things were excellent. So, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, and in the meantime, good luck.